Hi, it's uh, it's Lou again. Uh, I'm playing hooky from work today. I, I uh, had some time off that I needed to take. Uh, it's one of those weird things in, in um, government. Sometimes you have time you have to take by the end of the year or else you lose. And I had some hours build up, but you don't care about that. Um, so I'm, I'm playing hooky today and um, having come back from Wonderfest and talking to Larry over at Pegasus, I really got a Jones in to build, uh, well, I got the, uh, the HK tank, or the big tank, uh, from, from Terminator 2, and I had had the HK, uh, the flying bit, um, in my stash, and I wanted to get them both out, basically, and build them at the same time, knowing that I would end up using the same finish for both of them, so, uh, while I had that, finish whipped up so to speak I could go ahead and do two kits at the same time and and knock them both out but what really sold me on on making the uh, the HK now is that I uh, uh, through reading on the hobby talk board got a good source for uh, the chip uh, LEDs the pre-wired ones and uh, let me let me show you that right now hold on a second okay so this is the uh, the website it is uh, model train software Dot com and I gotta tell you um, here are the uh, here are the chip lights that they sell they uh, let me get down here so you can see uh, they have what they call a chip the nano and the Pico now um, I decided to you know to uh, try some of these out because as much as I would love to be able to use these small lights I cannot for the life of me solder those small connections. I just don't have the hand-eye coordination that I need or the automated setup that maybe they use. I don't know. But it's something that I wanted to try and I thought the best, one of the best subjects for it would be um, the HK because of the uh, tail lights. There's a red and blue tail light on either side. So let me uh, show you what they look like in real life. Okay, let's see if I could find one on my table here. In real life, in real life, this is it. Um, believe it or not, that is, and I was I thought I'd get, I, I ordered a bunch of the, uh, the Nanos, which is the middle size. Now, that's just wavering around here. Um, the Nanos, which are the middle size, because I figured that would give me a, a good shot to start with either one to go smaller or larger. And that thing is plenty small. But they come pre-wired with the resistor already on them, and they're set up for anywhere from 6 to uh, 12 volts. And I ordered them by the bunch. I ordered uh, 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 10 cool whites, 10 warm whites, some blues, and some reds. And uh, they were in about, I guess, about two bucks fifty a piece. Now I don't know about you, that to me is 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 a steal and a half. I feel like I'm ripping them off because I could not do that work at that. You know, it's worth more than two dollars and fifty cents of my time to be able to do that for each one of them and to get them in a large number like that because frankly I do, like I said I don't have the skills and I will pay gladly somebody to do that for me uh, it's much in the same boat as uh, people ask me about my uh, painting templates and they say well you know they cost a little but it's worth it to save me the time and it's something I know I couldn't do well there you go uh, I, I also believe that there are many things in this life that I'll be happy to pay other people to do for me. And wiring chip LEDs is one of them. So, to get back to the build, this was basically an unopened box this morning. I, um, it's uh, around noon, I would say. I started around 7.30 this morning, 8 o'clock, and it's noon now, so in four hours... Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, in four hours, I've gotten my uh, HK to this point, and I've done as much of the construction of bits that I can without a starting the wiring and b closing these up. Now, there's I've got as much of this put together as I can. I need to sand some seams and fill some seams before I hit it with the primer. And again, same with these. Um, 
some seaming and then some priming work and the landing gear there for them but I'm to the point now where I am ready to uh, like I said do some puttying and sanding and then running the wires now I am going to run these little mammies I've got uh, a red one and a blue one that I'm going to run out to the uh, the tail piece which is it goes out to here and then there's a clear piece that does the front and back be uh, beacons and it's a natural I mean look how small that area is, is you could fit a, a chip bulb in there naturally but that's going to be on the front and there are two spotlights up front that I'm actually I was planning on using these small chips but I think they even the chips may be too small I think they may be good enough that I can use a uh, a 1.8 mil bulb and get that kind of stuff wired and actually uh, save some of my uh, chips for when they uh, fall where they may but um, this is the project that has uh, attracted my attention today you can see this poor guy is waiting for some attention he is he uh, was supposed to be next he's 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 um, a little bit sad about the fact that somebody has come up behind him but then again he has to remember what it was like when I was working on him instead of other kits that I should have been building so it's his turn in the barrel but uh, I want to get the uh, my, my goal for today is to get this primed and um, puttied and closed up maybe get the wiring running and closed up today to the point where I can uh, uh, put him aside and work on the uh, the tank hello it is uh, day two of the T2 times two build I am working on the uh, the HK tank and the uh, the flying zappy killer um, pardon me for not knowing the exact terms I've run into the rather embarrassing situation of having lights that are too small never thought I'd see the day um, the nano lights that I showed you yesterday are fine and wonderful and will be used in the um, the fin part for these uh, for these red and blue lights that go up at the top of the uh, the flying killing thingy but when I went to use them in the tank uh, the tank has um, very minimal lighting it's got uh, two spotlights that come out the front of the head uh, I've got these pieces mocked up here front of the head and then it's got like a police um, light I'm sorry you're seeing the reflection of the uh, move that out of the way the reflection uh, went straight right in the way okay um, it's got these deals now the thing is they're so nice and clear that you can really see the um, the bulbs that will go up in them now the thing is um, I love the the magnet wire that's on these and the magnet wire is, is going to be a, a must for chasing the wire down through where it needs to go but you run into the thing that these little nano lights come on where is it I can't even find it in front of the it's too small to go in here I mean it shows up as a tiny little light source so you know I could almost put a three millimeter a three millimeter you know red light in there but then you're still running you know the little chasey wires down through that so what I've done is I've gone back to the uh, the website which is uh, again that is modeltrainsoftware.com and uh, ordered up some larger if you can use the term loosely larger lights and knowing that they're gonna get here in two or three days uh, I can put off building the head or running the wiring until then trust me I've got enough other things to do I can actually get on with uh, uh, finishing up the flying killie thingy um, I have taken a slightly different tack with the um, the big tank that I did than I did with the uh, small flying hunter killer and that is um, 
Here's the. I have foregone the. See, on this one, I did everything with my typical gray primer sealer, uh, duplicolor, and I have foregone that on the tank. I went straight into a flat black uh, primer on that, and the reason is I'm going to put a flat black under uh, the, um, what I'm going to do for a finish is to use the metalizer chrome or metalizer uh, aluminum which is a nice high gloss, uh, the buffing aluminum. But it works better if you put it over black than if you put it over gray. So what I'm trying with the tank is, um, I'm going since it's got such a big area to it, I mean, that tank has acres of plastic. Um, so because it's got so much surface area, I just got a big rattle can of the flat black and just sprayed the bejesus out of it and um, then I will put the metalizer straight over top of that and let me let me go bring those parts in and I'll show you where I'm talking about here are the parts loosely placed together now I have got the camera zoomed out as far as I can zoom out and it is still covering filling the whole screen uh, like I said and I don't even have the tread the uh, treads on it which raises it up yet another inch or so but um, this is a lot of plastic. Just this base alone is huge. There is zoomed out. Now, you could put, obviously, this is built for, for lighting. You could put a 9 volt in. Hell, you could put a car, you could put a 12 volt car battery in there if you wanted to. Uh, it's huge. A lot of plastic. Um, again, I primed everything black knowing that uh, areas like that that I won't be that won't hardly ever show you kind of have to put it together to see what's going to show before you even get too excited about what areas are going to paint uh, and again this is the head kind of loosely placed in place on it um, but I want to get you know the recesses area areas painted black because that's going to be better than leaving the uh, uh, a gray in there if you're going to paint a silver over top of it um, it's best to start with a black it just gives it a better undertone so that's where I am at this point now I can put the treads together and I can get the base of it as long as I leave a hole drilled down through to run wiring down uh, I'll be in good shape because I could feed the wiring down through the head of this down through the neck of this down into the body of that and you know to numerous switches and and uh, there's a big old big old uh, cover over the bottom so what I'm going to do now is get as much stuff done as I can uh, while I'm waiting for those new bulbs to come in the spotlights um, I'm replacing the little bit that came with them because you know you always have to worry about light blocking and because there's just simply so much room in this kit for it I mean like I said there's anchors acres of free area so I've replaced them with a bit of uh, brass rod that I am going to uh, be able to aim the right way and then I can uh, put a uh, three millimeter white LED down through that but that like I said this is part two of the T2 and um, I'm gonna let the uh, I'm gonna do some sanding some buffing on that before I uh, uh, even try attempting painting any silver over it but that's a sec like I said that's the second half the first half is the the flying guy who's out in the other room and in this box and then places pieces all over the house that I am uh, staging other parts in other places okay we're on day three of the t2 times two build uh, as you can see there are quite a few parts to this is just the uh, tank and uh, what you don't see here are the treads of course and the uh, the gears the treads run into since I have determined that those will never see the light of day um, I've, I've pre-built one of the tread tank sections and by the time you've covered them all up and put the treads on them those inside gears just don't show at least not enough to worry about painting 
and uh, there is enough painting that needs done with all of this that uh, I can forgo that last bit. What I've got is uh, all the parts cleaned, uh, minor construction on some parts uh, with those seams sanded and, and uh, puttied and sanded some more and then they've got a generous heaping coat of flat black on everything and on this you can actually see the uh, lift up and you can see I don't know if you can see any detail in there or not with all it being black um, but you can see the uh, the head detail now there are tubes that will come through there to do the uh, white light that I'm just going to put brass tubes in there and stick white uh, LEDs in behind and then of course the uh, the red and blue bars go up here and like I said that those were ordered yesterday I already have a confirmation that they were shipped out so I'm expecting those in a couple three days and then I will get back with the lighting on that but which will give me a, a good plenty of time for uh, all of the silver that I'm going to put on here to cure and to get nice and hard and what I'm going to use is the uh, metalizer I think I've got aluminum plate buffing that uh, I'm going to coat lightly on all this that's why I put the black undertones in there so or the black on it so that I could have the undertones of black behind it but I want to let these sit out in the sun here and get nice and uh, nice and set up before I drag out everything for the silver painting and because it's so much paint and it's enamel and uh, fumy and all of that I'm going to set up a little station out here on the back porch to uh, paint outside so that uh, I don't have those fumes in the house so that's going to be the next step and here are the results uh, you'll notice that they've had a liberal coating of uh, buffing aluminum plate, a little bit of chrome, um, metallic chrome on them. And you'll notice one other thing. It is not a standardized, you know, even plastering. There are spots in the finish where it is more chrome than others. Um, more shiny than others. This is my version of weathering. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the the finish on these was supposed to be a shiny metallic chrome, and I saw the mock-up of the or the prototype at Wonderfest of what the chrome ones looked like, and they were all very nice and very lovely, but they were also very flat, which is odd for being shiny. But I mean, they were. Uh, the finish on them would look like a uh, looked like a bump, bunch of bumpers. It didn't look like a uh, uh, a living, breathing thing. If you know what I mean. If 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 you can uh, imagine where I'm going with that. So the chrome isn't uniform over all of it. It is um, in the high spots. It's still shiny. In the low spots, it might have attracted a little bit of grease or dust or whatever. Now I'm going to let these set up for a good long while probably won't touch them again today except to, to bring them inside but uh, I will probably want to go over them with a t-shirt some other piece of cloth and buff them up and then I'll be ready to do the last uh, last bit of construction and of course there'll be more touching up of that later on after all of the uh, pieces are put together I do notice unfortunately a lot of seams popping back up um, I'm going to blame it on uh, robotic construction and say those are panel lines because one thing that, that you, everyone knows about metallic finishes is that they show every bump and blemish and seam and bit of putty so um, I minimized them where I could I'll probably accentuate them where I can't get rid of them completely uh, we'll see where that goes well, this is going to wrap up the uh, the Terminator 2 times 2 uh, build for this weekend. I, I never promised I would get them all done this weekend. I, I got them a good part of the way. Now, I did have a setback by uh, getting bulbs that were 
in fact too small. I never thought that would happen. So uh, since I went back and ordered larger chip LEDs, uh, I'll obviously have to wait to put those in. But uh, I think good progress was made from starting for our weekend of two basically closed up boxes. And now we're to the point where we're ready for final construction and um, installing the lights. Uh, I did not get to wiring up the LEDs this weekend. Just, uh, uh, I got tired. I'm sorry. I, uh, I, I didn't feel like doing any more. And I've, I've often found that I do bad work when I um, am pushed to do more than I feel comfortable with doing. Uh, I get in moods where I will build and build and build and build, but I've realized that when I stop wanting to build, it's a good time to stop building. Um, so I'm going to get this edited together and throw it up on, uh, I'll probably have to wait to, to pull it up till tomorrow morning. So uh, it's done for the weekend, and we'll pick this up again in a couple of days and see where we go from there. Wait for the new, when the new bulbs get in. Sayonara.